The story kicks off by introducing Jason Brady, a young man who enjoys playing the guitar in his room. During his school break, he creates videos for his YouTube channel. However, when the break ends, he and his sister Zoe are sent to a Catholic boarding school. The school's principal, Rebecca, introduces a new nun named Sophia to the institution. Rebecca takes Sophia on a tour of the school, during which Sophia meets Jason and discovers that she will be his teacher. One night, Sophia watches one of Jason's music videos on her laptop and affectionately kisses the screen. The following morning, Sophia enters the classroom to greet the students. She notices that Jason and Sarah are engrossed in conversation and seem oblivious to her presence, which makes her feel jealous. Sophia decides to change Sarah's seat after class to separate her from Jason. Later, when she sees Jason and Sarah kissing, her jealousy intensifies. In a fit of anger, she approaches them and sternly tells Sarah to keep her distance from Jason. After the class, Sophia invites Jason to her room to have a conversation with him. With cunning intent, she leaves the door slightly ajar, surprising Jason as he glimpses a beautiful scene beyond the crack. Sophia acts oblivious, wearing earphones to feign indifference. Nervous, Jason hastily departs, falling right into Sophia's scheme. The following day is the weekend, and families arrive to collect the students. Sophia observes Jason conversing with Sarah once again, stoking her jealousy. She then fabricates a story for Sister Rebecca, claiming her Aunt Frances is hospitalized, seeking permission to depart. Rebecca grants her leave. Back at home, Jason aspires to pursue his music career, garnering his mother's support, while his disappointed father urges him toward college. His father's lack of faith deeply troubles Jason, leading him to skip dinner and instead strum his guitar by the pool. Sophia keeps a watchful eye. The next school day, Sister Sophia stealthily infiltrates the girls' dormitory while they sleep. Sneaking into Sarah's room, she covertly places cigarette within her books, intending to frame Sarah and secure her expulsion from the school. Unexpectedly, Sister Rebecca catches her in the act. Sophia attempts to argue that she was merely inspecting dormitory security, and Rebecca, without further inquiry, swiftly departs. The following morning, as Sophia instructs the students to open their textbooks, Sarah is astonished to discover a cigarette inside her book. Consequently, Sarah can only shed tears when she is summoned to the principal's office. There, she confesses that the cigarette does not belong to her, Unfortunately, Sarah receives a suspension from school. Subsequently, a thorough inspection of the entire school and hostel reveals a bottle of liquor in Jason's room. When it comes time to penalize Jason, Sophia pleads with his father and sister Rebecca for leniency. She requests a minor punishment, such as assisting with school cleaning over the weekend, in order to enable him to remain at school. Here comes the plot twist. Sophia is not a genuine nun, she harbors a crush on Jason and has discovered that he attends St. Adeline Catholic School, where she recently secured a position as Sister Sophia. She approaches the real Sister Sophia, takes out a rod, and strikes her in the head. Afterwards, she buries her in the jungle, assuming Sister Sophia's identity. Now, Jason stayed behind at the school for some cleaning duty. During the cleanup, Sophia joined Jason's efforts and made attempts to seduce him. That night, while Jason was asleep in his room, Sophia quietly entered. She activated her phone's recording function and concealed it behind some books. Sensing a presence in the room, Jason awoke and was utterly surprised to discover Sophia there. It turned out that Sophia desired an intimate encounter with Jason. Initially, Jason hesitated, fearing the sin, but the temptation proved overpowering, leading him to yield to deception. The following morning, Jason felt overwhelmed with guilt for his actions since he had been intimate with a nun. Later, when Jason's room was vacant, Sophia sneaked into his room and began to sniff his clothing. After school, Jason intended to confess his deeds. However, to his astonishment, the person who heard his confession was not the priest, but Sister Sophia. She then entered the confessional, sat on his lap, and both of them committed sins once more. When the weekend finally came, as was customary, Jason and Zoe returned home. 
Jason attended a party where Sarah attempted to become more intimate with him, leaning in for a kiss. Perhaps she desired a closer relationship, but Jason's thoughts were fixed on his sister, Sophia. He gently rebuffed Sarah's advances and made the decision to depart the gathering. As he made his way out, a police officer intercepted him due to his possession of a beer bottle, putting him on the verge of trouble. Fortunately, Sophia arrived just in the nick of time to rescue him. Concerned about going home inebriated, Sophia took him to her place. There, she extended an invitation for Jason to accompany her to Paris. His considerable wealth and pledged to assist Jason in achieving fame as a singer, leaving him bewildered and infuriated. He expressed his disinterest in being with her and left. Feeling despondent, Jason sat by the roadside when his father arrived, offering support and encouragement to pursue his music career. Meanwhile, the next day, Jason discovered Sophia on his bed, feigning unconsciousness due to an overdose. In a state of panic, he attempts to revive her with mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, but to his astonishment, she suddenly kisses him. Recognizing that the crafty woman had deceived him, he warns her that he will report her to Father Macy. However, the nun remains unruffled and threatens to release their compromising video, which would forever brand him as the boy who had an intimate encounter with a nun. In the classroom, Sophia asks Jason to lead the prayer. Unbeknownst to her, Sister Rebecca observes from the doorway and notices Sophia's omission, which leaves Sophia surprised. Sarah returns to school, and the principal instructs her to attend classes as usual since her sentence has concluded. Jason and Sarah's relationship rekindles, and they are frequently seen together, sharing affectionate moments. This rekindled connection sparks jealousy and anger in Sophia. Sophia devised a scheme to eliminate Sarah. Later, while Sarah was in the shower, Sister Sophia suddenly appeared and forcefully struck Sarah's head against the wall. She then deliberately dropped a bar of soap on the floor to create the appearance of an accidental slip. Sophia grinned at her reflection in the mirror, thoroughly contented. Eventually, Zoe stumbled upon Sarah's lifeless body and screamed for assistance. An ambulance promptly arrived to transport the body away. The other students in the dormitory believed Sarah had died due to a bathroom accident, gathering somberly at the church. Sophia initially wore a facade of sadness, but it didn't last for long. Jason confronted Sophia, but she showed him a video of them together from the previous day as a form of leverage. When the weekend arrived, Jason and Zoe were picked up by their parents. Sophia wasn't pleased about Jason's departure, so she sought Sister Rebecca's permission to attend her Aunt Frances's funeral. Jason and Zoe enjoy a family dinner at a restaurant with their parents. Sister Sophia unexpectedly appears and introduces herself as Jason's teacher. Their father, David, warmly invites her to join them, and she commends the children's talents. This leaves Jason feeling bewildered and anxious. Meanwhile, Sister Rebecca, harboring suspicions, contacts the hospital to inquire about a patient named Francis. To her astonishment, she learns that no such person exists, leading her to realize that Sister Sophia has been dishonest. Following dinner, Zoe confronts her brother about Sister Sophia, and Jason finally confesses to his sister that he had an inappropriate relationship with Sister Sophia. Now that Sister Sophia is blackmailing him, Zoe resolves to assist her brother. The next day, while Rebecca engages in a conversation with Sophia, Jason and Zoe sneak into Sophia's room and stumble upon a laptop. They uncover numerous photos of the real Sister Sophia on that laptop, indicating that it belongs to the genuine Sister Sophia. Jason also locates another laptop, the imposter Sophia's, containing many pictures of himself. As they examine the laptop, they uncover that the fake Sophia's real name is Laura. They decide to retain the laptop as evidence for potential action against her. Meanwhile, Rebecca confronts Sophia about her falsehoods, particularly why she lied about her Aunt Frances's demise. Sophia becomes increasingly desperate to conceal the truth, but fails to do so. In a fit of rage, she violently assaults Rebecca, causing her to lose consciousness. Worried for Rebecca, Jason and Zoe head to the church, with Sophia trailing them. 
Sophia realizes that both Jason and Zoe have discovered the truth and makes an attempt to harm Zoe. In a burst of anger, Jason retaliates against Sophia, but she manages to evade him. Unfortunately, the attack leaves him unable to father children. However, Rebecca regains consciousness and joins the struggle against Sophia. Sophia nearly takes Rebecca's life, but Jason intervenes, defending sister Rebecca. In an act of self-defense, he ultimately uses a screwdriver to end Sophia's threat. Several months later, we witness Jason and Zoe graduating and celebrating their achievements. Zoe receives a car as a gift, and Jason's father presents him with a guitar. The movie concludes at this point. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and stay connected with us.